Hi, I'm Sean from Easy Agile. In this video, we'll look at how you can use Easy Agile story maps to create sprints, manage your team's releases, and hold retrospectives. In Easy Agile user story maps, we can rearrange stories by dragging and dropping them within a swim lane and between swim lanes to show their value to our users and how we are prioritizing our work for delivery to our customers. Moving issues vertically will also update their rank on your Agile board in your backlog. We are also able to change the swim lane type on our story map by clicking on the swim lane dropdown in the top right hand corner of the story map. When a scrum team first opens their user story map, they will see it sliced horizontally by sprint swim lanes pulled directly from their Agile board. This is what we've seen here in this demo so far. Scrum teams will also have the ability to switch between sprint and version swim lanes on their story map via the swim lanes dropdown. Alternatively, when a Kanban team first opens their story map, they'll see it sliced horizontally by version swim lanes, pulled directly from their releases page in JIRA. The versions are ordered by their release date on the story map. In both cases, teams are able to create new sprints and versions directly from the story map. To create a new sprint on the story map, first make sure that sprint swim lanes have been toggled on using the swim lanes dropdown. Scroll to the backlog swim lane at the bottom of your story map and click add sprint. Name your sprint and click submit. Your new sprint will appear above the backlog on the user story map and on your board's backlog. To create a new version on the story map, switch to version swim lanes using the swim lanes dropdown. Scroll to the backlog swim lane at the bottom of your story map and click add version. Name your version and click submit. Your new version will appear above the backlog on the user story map and at the bottom of your releases page in JIRA. So far we've looked at the anatomy of your Easy Agile user story map from epic backbone to user stories and your sprint and version swim lanes. Now we're going to walk through ways of using the user story map for your sprint and release planning sessions. Perhaps one of the biggest considerations for a team when planning their sprints or releases is their capacity and ensuring that they're not over committing. At the end of each sprint or version swim lane on the story map, we have estimation lozenges. These lozenges show an accumulation of the estimated work planned for that sprint or version in each of the three status categories, to do, in progress, and done. During sprint or release planning, you can filter the work on the story map to show the work that is still unestimated. Teams can then quickly update the estimate for those stories through inline edit. These estimates are automatically added to estimation lozenges, ensuring that we're aware of our committed capacity for our given sprint or version. Teams can start and complete their sprints without having to leave the story map. To start a sprint, click on the blue Start Sprint button at the end of the top swim lane. Here, you can edit your sprint name, update the start or end date, and enter the sprint goals. Click Start Sprint. Your sprint is now active in JIRA. Teams can also complete their sprints without leaving the story map. To complete an active sprint, click on the blue Complete Sprint button at the end of the Active Sprint swim lane. You will now see an overview of the status of issues in your sprint. Under the Move To heading, select where Incomplete Issues should be moved to, then click Complete Sprint. This overview of the number of issues completed versus not completed serves as a good talking point when it comes to running a retrospective of your sprint, which we'll dive into now. In Easy Agile user story maps, we have the option to visualize a snapshot of our historical sprints and versions at the point where they were completed or released. This allows us to provide a more holistic view of our product to date, reflect on what was shipped in our previous releases, and facilitate retrospectives on our closed sprints 
by providing a glimpse of what was completed versus still in progress when we closed it out. To visualize completed sprints or released versions on our story map, click on the swim lanes drop down. Clicking on your desired swim lane type on the left hand side will provide a list of available completed sprints or released versions on the right side. If we wanted to run a retrospective on our last completed sprint, I would select it from the top of my list. Navigating back to the story map, we can see our last completed sprint sitting at the top of our story map in a read-only view. Having this view allows us to reflect on what we were able to achieve in our previous sprint and maybe address issues concerning scope and capacity via our estimation lozenges. You should now be able to create sprints, releases, and hold retrospectives using easy, agile user story maps for JIRA. This app is available as a free trial on the Atlassian Marketplace for 30 days. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.